Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamer's game review of the 1985 classic game, Wild Gunman, by Nintendo for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Wild Gunman was released as part of the Nintendo Light Gun series, and was one of the first games used with the Nintendo Zapper. The controls are very simple. Aim the Nintendo Zapper at your target, and pull the trigger. This is a one-player game with three different versions to play, Game A, One Outlaw, Game B, Two Outlaws, and Game C, Gang. In Game A, One Outlaw, the object of the game is to get the highest score by shooting the outlaws as fast as you can before they shoot you. If you get shot three times, it's game over. At the top of the screen is the time it took you to pull the trigger. Below that is the outlaws time. It can vary anywhere from one and a half seconds to four tenths of a second. In Game B, Two Outlaws, the object of the game is the same as Game A, but this time you have to shoot two outlaws at the same time. In Game C, Game, the object of the game is to get the highest score by shooting the outlaws who appear in the five openings at the saloon. You have 15 shots to shoot 10 outlaws each round. Once you get shot three times, it's game over. What I really like about this game is that it does a good job on testing your reflexes. I like the five different outlaws who have their own unique looks and different animations when they're shot. They're kind of funny and silly. The last thing I like about this game is the sound effect when the outlaw says fire. It actually says fire, making this the very first Nintendo Entertainment System game to have a spoken word in it. I only have a few complaints about this game. The first complaint is that games A and B are way too easy and not very challenging at all. The second complaint is about Game C Gang. They tried to make it like Hogan's Alley's Game B, but failed in a couple major ways. First one being that there are no good guys to avoid shooting, and you always stay at the saloon. They could have made it where you travel through the western town, maybe starting off at the saloon, then traveling to the hotel, maybe the sheriff's office, and then maybe the general store. That would have made the game a lot better. The last complaint, you've probably already guessed it by now, is the lack of music and sound effects. Other than the spoken word fire, the music and sound effects aren't very good. I think Nintendo rushed this game onto the store shelves too quickly. If they would have taken a little more time, they could have made this into a really great Nintendo Zapper game. When playing games A and B, wait for the outlaws to say fire before you shoot them. If you shoot them before they say fire, you get a foul and you lose a life. To make games A and B more challenging, don't have your zapper pointed at the screen. I recommend that you draw the gun from your hip, making the game harder and a lot more fun to play. When playing game B, shoot the outlaw with the fastest time first, then shoot the other outlaw. But be careful, they both won't say fire every time. So if you shoot the one who doesn't say fire, you get a foul, and you lose a life. When playing Game C, they give you very little time to rest in between rounds. So if your arms get tired, feel free to pause the game by hitting the start button on the controller. So this concludes my video game review of Wild Gunman. I have to score this game a decent 6.5 out of 10. It's not as good as Duck Hunt or Hogan's Alley, but is a fun zapper game in its own unique way. And a must-have for any true classic gamer. Thank you.